Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Cater. Um, today in this uh, series of Firebase and WordPress plugin development, I'm gonna show you how to um, intercept and um, add more information when a new user is re registered to your WordPress and supposedly after user uh, register their data will be saved to uh, Firebase database it either um, real time or Firestore okay um, and I'm gonna modify the uh, um, the plugin I mean that add new feature um, in order to um, allow you to extend the plugin and add more data to the user's um, object okay um, so this is the function that I wrote in the um, um, the plugin so um, I have like a, f a filter to save data to um, to the database so in this case it the user uh, object um, and I'm gonna extend this plugin well you see that this this is the like a um, um, github copilot uh, I may not mention it here but uh, to let you know it suggests code okay um, so I'm gonna um, allow to add more um, data to users okay thank you copilot and then before saving user data to uh, Firebase I'm gonna apply another filter this is a custom filter um, where you can extend the uh, functionality of this function I'm gonna extend it I'm, I'm gonna explain it later um, so let me allow this uh, suggestion but I'm gonna save this one um, is a uh, firebase and then before saving to uh, database okay and I'm gonna I'm gonna get the filter um, data as a parameter okay so before um, we send user data to the uh, firebase I'm gonna increase the phone so before we send data to firebase I'm gonna apply a custom filter where you can use it um, in order to add your custom filter and then add more data to uh, users okay uh, I'm gonna debug it by print out some error log um, send user to firebase okay just to see what uh, happen uh, when the uh, functionality is or the function is running um, I'm gonna print out the user, the new user object. Okay, print. Cool. Um, the suggestion is really uh, precise, so I'm pretty. I really like it. Okay, so we have a, a custom filter before sending data to um, to Firebase. Okay. So in another file, um, such as your uh, function.php or your custom plugin I'm gonna add um, a new filter let me okay add filter and then I'm gonna use this one the custom filter that I created and then I'm gonna create a, um, a function let's see um, let's name it edit user data um, before saving okay cool and then that function edit hmm. <laughs> it's too fast uh, I missed the suggestion okay um, so and then okay here cool it should check uh, the um, that I add the user email but I'm not gonna do it so um, add like a custom data to user 
Okay, I can use this one. And then I'm gonna return the user back to the user object. Cool. Um, so what what it means is um, when a user register and it not being saved to Firebase, it gonna run this filter before um, saving to Firebase. If you don't have like a custom uh, function that attached to this custom filter, it gonna use the existing user data. But if you do have some function to intercept and add like a custom data to the user object, it's gonna return a new user object uh, and then save to uh, Firebase. Okay. Um, okay, I think that uh, we are ready. Uh, let me print some some log here. Uh, edit user. Okay. Just for um, the debug purpose. Okay. So we're gonna show in the uh, terminal. But uh, let's see. So I'm going to the uh, the website that has the plugin um, installed, and then let's see. I'm gonna sign in with a new email. Uh, maybe test uh, fifty or something. Okay. And then create a new one. Uh, test fifty. And then to password. Okay. So um, suppose what's gonna happen is when I save, it's gonna create a new user in Firebase in WordPress and also save um, the user data to Firebase. Okay. Um, because I said that that's gonna save to user collection. So um, half only it's gonna save another one um, just above this new um, users. Okay, let's do it. Okay, save. Um, okay, not now. Now it, the authentication kick in. Okay, so in in the log, um, it run in the uh, the filter. Uh, I mean, it run in this line before uh, it send user to uh, Firebase. Okay. Then it run this one, and the user object it gonna use in order to uh, save to Firebase in this one. It has the user ID, uh, which is the Firebase user ID, and the time of uh, the login of users with the display name. And then you're gonna have the WordPress user ID saved to Firebase too, and the custom data that we just uh, added. And then let's check in the Firebase. Um, okay, sorry. Um, I, I will check in the configuration. It's saved to real time and to the uh, um, the path is WP users, not Firestore. Okay, so um, when you configure, um, you can choose either real time or Firestore. Okay, let me check it again. Let me go back to real time database. And then under WP users, um, I should find the uh, NI. Uh, let me see that. Okay, here. So this is in the new um, user that uh, we just create. And then it's saved to real time database. Um, to to uh, summarize, it can save to either real time or file stores. Uh, it depends on your database choice. So you see that the custom data is being saved to um, the real time uh, WP users. So this is how you um, extend, uh, intercept the user object before it being saved to uh, Firebase database okay um, so now you know how to do it um, if you have any question you just uh, put your question 
uh, under the comment section. Uh, if you have any other requests that uh, you want to um, create um, other kind of uh, videos or tutorials, just let me know. Um, okay, see you in the next video. Bye.